Understanding Systems in Science Many things in our world are made up of parts that work together. Like a robot, with all its wires, gears, and joints working in sync to dance, move about, and, hopefully, carry out the tasks it was designed to perform. A bicycle, a plant, and even your own body are examples of systems. But what exactly is a system? A system is a whole made up of different parts that work together to perform a function. Each part has a unique role and together, they allow the system to function properly. A sports team, for example, relies on each player performing their specific role. If one player is out of position, it can affect the entire game. Similarly, an orchestra depends on musicians playing their instruments in harmony. If one instrument is missing or out of tune, the music doesn't sound right. If one part of a system stops working, the whole system may be affected. For example, think about a bicycle. It has wheels, pedals, a chain, and brakes. Each part has a job to do. If the chain breaks, the pedals can't turn the wheels, and the bicycle won't move. Just like this, systems in nature and human-made systems depend on their parts to work together. Our bodies are made up of different systems, each with a specific function that helps keep us alive and healthy. We need systems to take in oxygen from the air, get energy from food, and move about. But no single part can do everything on its own. Each system plays a role, and they all work together to keep the body functioning. The respiratory system helps us take in oxygen and remove carbon dioxide. while the digestive system breaks down food to provide energy. The circulatory system transports oxygen and nutrients throughout the body, ensuring that every cell gets what it needs. The skeletal system gives our body structure and protects important organs, while the muscular system allows us to move. No system can function alone. Each one depends on the others to keep the body working properly. Just like a well-built machine, every part plays a role in keeping us alive and active. Like human body systems, plants are systems made up of different parts that work together to help them grow and survive. Each part has a specific role. Roots anchor the plant and absorb water. The stem supports the plant and transports nutrients. And leaves produce food through photosynthesis. Flowers and fruits allow reproduction by attracting pollinators and spreading seeds. Inside the plant, there are systems that help it function, including a network of tubes that transport essential materials. The xylem, 
is a system of tubes that carries water and minerals from the roots to the leaves, ensuring the plant gets the water it needs to photosynthesize. The phloem is another system of tubes that distributes food, moving the sugars produced in the leaves to other parts of the plant. If any part of this system stops working, whether the roots, stem, or transport tubes, the whole plant can suffer, showing that all systems must function together to keep the plant alive. Just like living things, man-made systems also rely on different parts working together to perform a function. From boats and excavators, to cars and green energy technologies like solar panels and wind turbines. Electrical systems, for example, consist of components like batteries, wires, bulbs, and switches that allow electricity to flow when connected in a closed circuit. If any part is missing or faulty, the system won't function properly. In NG Science, we explore how systems shape the world around us. Whether in living things like humans and plants, or in man-made designs like electrical circuits, we'll discover how every system is made up of parts that must work together to perform a function.